Our devotion today is from 1 Samuel chapter 27. And I never realized before, as I was reading through 1 Samuel, just how much uh, this book is like a TV show, like a drama that you would watch on TV, uh, or even like a soap opera. And each one of these chapters is sort of like an episode. And uh, 27 is a short chapter, uh, but important, because it's building the drama, it's building the suspense that is going to end up leading us uh, to the conclusion, to the, the climax of this story, of the this battle that's going on between Saul and David. We've seen twice so far, David has spared Saul's life when he had an opportunity to take vengeance and take matters into his own hands. But he comes to the conclusion that no matter what he does, Saul is not going to let this go. He's going to continue hunting him, and he's right, Saul's not going to. And so David ends up moving his whole family um, to live with the Philistines, which is, of course, they're the enemies of Israel. This is interesting because it's setting up the drama of the situation. David is living amongst the Philistines, fighting for them, and has become one of their trusted allies. He's going out and doing raids. He's not being honest about who he's raiding. The Philistine king thinks he's been raiding people in Judah, but he hasn't been. He's been fighting the Amicalites. Uh, but it's setting up this drama here because there's a war between Israel and the Philistines coming. And David is going to be on the side of the Philistines, fighting against his own people, fighting against the nation that he's supposed to be king of. And so what is going to happen uh, at this climax. The thing that I see from this chapter is that we've watched David. We've watched him from the time that he first received the promise of God that he was going to be king over Israel, that he was going to be the anointed one. And we've watched him go through um, just all the stuff with Saul, and it, and it really hasn't went David's way. It doesn't look as if the promise that God made to him is going to be happening anytime soon. And we get to this chapter, and now he's moving and he's living with the Philistines, and he lives there for a year and four months. And that's enough time to settle in. I think David was a man of prayer. I think that he probably, for that whole year and a half, or year and four months, had been praying to God to bring a re resolution to this. And yet he'd spent that much time waiting on an answer from God. I wonder if there were times during that year and four months that David looked back to that night when he stood over Saul and he could have thrust that spear into him, pinned him to the ground, and then the whole thing would have been over. He could have taken things into his own hands. He could have been king of Israel by now. But David had decided to wait on the Lord's deliverance and let the Lord take care of him. And such a difficult thing to do because it puts you in a place of vulnerability. You're not taking care of yourself. You're trusting in God to take care of you. And in 2 Peter, Scripture tells us that God is not slow concerning his promises, but that he's patient. He doesn't want anyone to perish. And I think that's what we see here. God being patient with Saul. God is patient with us too. And we may pray, we may be in situations that seem like we don't, there's no resolution coming and we don't see an end in sight. Like David living with the Philistines for over a year, wondering when is this going to end? When are you going to do something, God? How long is a long time to wait on an answer from the Lord? But the scripture tells us that God's timing is best. We don't question him. We know that he has his reasons and that we can trust in him and know that he is going to take care of us, even in those times when we don't understand and when we're waiting and it feels like we've waited and we don't see an end in sight. Sometimes it may be that God is God, a move of God is right around the corner and we want to put our trust and our faith in him the way that David did. An exciting story. A dramatic story as we move towards the climax between this war between David and Saul and God is going to show uh, that he is faithful, that he does keep his promises, and that he is able to deliver us from anything that comes against us. God bless you guys.